Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got my November wrap up for you. All right. Sorry if there's any uh, background noise, there's a lot of stuff going on today. So November was a pretty okay reading month. I mean, I feel like I did pretty well. I read six books, I think. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive right into what I read this month. So the first book that I finished in November was Girls Weekend. This is such a fun series. I really like seeing Ms. Costa's work. She has this urban fantasy world that is so well built and it's just one of my favorite urban fantasy worlds. But also this is mostly a romance book so that's incredible and it's just them together it's just so good and it's cozy and just mm. this one was three elves and basically they're going to you know an orc nudist resort for the weekend and it was just so much fun this got a solid four stars I would highly recommend if you guys are looking for like an urban fantasy romance crossover that's not necessarily paranormal romance this is the one to go for so next up, I finished Floral Kisses. This is the last book in the Mountain Springs Omega series. This one was actually a really good one to end on. This one, we had a couple of characters that were pushing their 40s, finally getting together after a huge misunderstanding and like some misogynistic bullshit. Um, but they finally were getting together and it was just so sweet and it was a perfect way to end this series. This one got a four to five stars. Okay, so next up, I finished Biomechanical. This is book four in the Irons and Work series. This was just so good. This one would James who is a double amputee but he's also a tattoo artist and he owns his own like garage um re like repair auto shopping and Rowan who is a lawyer who mainly specializes in cases where parents are disabled and their children are taken away by the state oh my god this one got me so like right in the feels like I almost cried a couple of different times Rowan and James were so so sweet and I really enjoyed their like dynamic together this one also got a solid four to five stars and it was just a really good book and I just I really enjoyed these two characters together all right so the next book that I finished was White Trash Warlock and this one got me deep in my feels oh my god I loved it to pieces. Um, again, this is a really great thought out urban fantasy world. The world building is incredible. Like the world building layers are really good. And Adam, the main character, oh my God, he just got my heart like in a vice grip. So this follows Adam who has the sight he can you know, see into the spirit realm. He can like spirit walk and he can go to the spirit realm and like talk to the creatures that are there. Like there's elves living there. There's all sorts of mythical creatures that live there. And one day he gets a call from his estranged brother that his brother needs help because his wife has been possessed by a demon. And it brings back years and years worth of trauma and a whole bunch of stuff because Adam or Adam's brother put him in a mental mental institution because you know of the whole sight thing he could see things that weren't there and he could talk to people that weren't there just please check your trigger warnings before you go into this book because this book will oh this one's heavy but it's so so good and I cannot wait to get my hands on the next one this one got a solid five out of five stars would highly Highly recommend if you're into urban fantasy. All right, so next up, I finished Secret XXX. This one, the title makes it seem like it's a lot more um, X-rated than it actually is. <laughs> I mean, it is a little little X-rated, but um, this one mostly focuses on the secrets between these two main characters who kind of start falling in love, and it's just like you know, one of them's hiding an allergy to the rabbits that he works at a pet shop with um and the other's hiding a secret that he works as a, a bouncer at a nightclub um and a couple of other things like secret family members and it's so good this one also has a spin-off series which i just got the first book for and i'm really happy about it but i really really enjoyed the artwork in this and i really loved the characters and honestly there's not much i can show you that um isn't x-rated at the moment but this one was really really good this one got a solid four to five stars it was really good and if you're over 18 definitely check this one out it's good um next up i finished ice planet barbarians this one was like a total surprise i loved it for this one, I have to blame all of the romance books grammars. They've been pushing this book really hard and oh my god, I loved it. Like these blue aliens, they're so sweet and kind and I just, I love them. Just to check the trigger warnings for this first book, it is really heavy with some topics about sexual assault and I mean, it was really, really good though. Now I, now I need more. Now I need to get all the rest of the books because this one was really good. This one got a four and a half out of five stars would recommend if you're over 18 please double check the trigger warnings before you dive into this one also it's got a ton of star wars references so like 
Who doesn't love that in a romance book? All right, and then the last book that I am currently reading as I'm filming this video is Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer. So I found out Magnus and I kind of share the same birthday and I'm like, I love it. And Magnus is a fellow Capricorn and I just, Magnus and I vibe so much. <laughs> um, I'm really vibing with Magnus. He's a dork, he's sarcastic, he's super caring, he's kind, and honestly, I just love that about him. And he's a total sweetheart and a dork, and I love him. Um, I am just about 200 pages into this as of filming this book. Uh, as of filming this book, as of filming this video, I'm 200 pages in, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I really love like this this take on Norse mythology because from what I remember, it's not pleasant usually. And I kind of like the the take that this is going with. If anybody's ever watched Vikings on History Channel, there's a couple of name drops in here that you will be familiar with, and it's very interesting and I like it a lot. All right, so those are all of the books that I read in November. I think my favorite has to be, ooh, definitely um, White Trash Warlock. That was fantastic. And Ice Planet Barbarians it was really, really good. So what did you guys read this month? Let me know down below. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget the like button. If you haven't already, but would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Ready? Bye guys.